Mysterious Iron Pillar of Delhi Unsolved Mystery In the capital of India, Delhi has a mystery that no one in the whole world has solved, that has surprised and disturbed the whole world. After all, what is that secret? We'll know in this article today. There is an iron pillar near the Qutub Minar in Meherali, Delhi, which is living proof of the high-tech science of ancient India. The Iron Pillar of Delhi has been in the open air for more than 1600 years. This massive iron pillar in Delhi is 23 feet 8 inches tall and is 3 feet 8 inches buried in the ground. The thickness of the bottom being 17 inches while the top becomes thin where its thickness is 12 inches. Seeing this iron pillar made of about 98% pure steel, it is known that how skilled are the experts in metallurgy to make it. But this pillar made of ferrous metal is another reason to be famous. This iron pillar has been facing rain, wind and sunshine for many centuries, but to date it has not rusted. When and how it was built, no historian or scientist has full knowledge to date. According to historians, this pillar belongs to Chandragupta II of the Gupta dynasty. According to some others, it was built by Emperor Ashoka to in memory of his grandfather Chandragupta Maurya. But experts believe it was built long ago. It was previously a part of Hindu and Jain temples. This iron pillar of Delhi has said something in Sanskrit that it was erected as a flag pillar in front of the world temple built by King Chandra in Mathura. And then Garura settled in it, hence its name Garura Pillar. First of all, the 11th century ruler of Tomar, Anangpal, showed curiosity about this pillar. Anangpal ordered his astrologers and scholars to obtain information about the pillar, but they got failure. Anangpal ordered this to dislocate in the last. But it is said that after digging a bit, a stream of blood started flowing from it. The astrologers said that this iron pillar rests on the funnel of Sheshnag. So it is unwavering, it will remain as long as you are ruled. Anangpal dug the pits, even after which he kept moving, which people started calling him a Dili, and later on he became familiar with the name of Delhi. There are two articles written on this column. One, Prithviraj Chauhan, who ruled till the end of the 12th century, and the other inscription is written in the Brahmi script of the Gupta period of the 4th century, which states that it was built in memory of which king. A chemical test conducted in 1961 showed that it was made of pure steel with very little carbon content. According to the Indian chemist Dr. B. B. Lal, in 20 to 30 kg pieces of hot iron has been made by adding to it, but surprisingly does not see a single joint in it. He inspected this column and researched it and then gave his They discovered that to protect this iron pillar of Delhi from corrosion, it contained a high amount of phosphorus, while the amount of sulphur and manganese was kept low. This increases the resistance to corrosion as well as a thin layer of oxide on it which helps to protect it from rust. This iron pillar stands as a question mark to the whole world today. Many scholars have different opinions about this iron pillar. It is a natural pillar and has been present at this space from the beginning. Some scholars say that this pillar has been left by aliens who came to the earth since ancient times. When Nadir Shah learned that this column belongs to a Hindu king, he was ordered to break it immediately. This pillar was only scratched when it was shot, but a part of the nearby mosque was damaged, after which Nadir Shah changed his intention to blow up the pillar. It's said, on touching the back of this pillar with both hands, the wishes are fulfilled. However, you cannot do this now because this pillar was damaged by a tourist in 1997, because of which an iron flood was put around better content. Please keep subscribed to our channel for more meaningful videos.